Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you a makeup look using the new Urban Decay Honey Naked Palette. I think when I saw this palette at first I really liked it. Um, these kind of shades are like my kind of shades. I really love warm tones and therefore I was really excited to film a video with this palette. Here you can see all the swatches and we're gonna dive right into the video. I'm gonna take my favorite eyeshadow primer which is the MAC Cosmetics eye primer which is the paint pot in the shade soft ochre um, i always use this i do have to say um, urban decay itself also has a nice primer i've been using it also for a while is their primer potion i'm not a huge fan of the original one because it's kind of transparent and when i use eyeshadow primer i kind of like it to also cover up the redness on the eyelids but they also have a primer which is called um, primer potion in the shade eden which has kind of the same undertone as this one and it's also a really nice alternative so if you maybe find the mac cosmetics soft ochre paint pot to be a little bit too dry you might like that one and also what a really nice primer is, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer. That one also has a little bit of a tint to it, so it also covers up the redness. Those three I think are my favorite primers, but this one that I'm using right now is my most used primer. Then I'm gonna start with this color, which is kind of a yellow, brown, orangey shade. It's really pretty. I wanted to start with this one and blend it in the inner corner of the crease. Um, I'm taking a really tiny blending brush, which is by The Balm Cosmetics. Um, it has two sides, so it has a blending brush at this side, which I'm using right now. And it has a other brush at the other side of the handle. I believe I'm only using this brush actually for the eyeshadow blending. Um, it's just the perfect size. It's kind of... You could compare it to a Morphe M506 brush, but this one is slightly bigger. And therefore I really like it because with this one you can blend really precisely into the crease. But it's not too big, so you don't like blend in a very big area. You just keep it really focused because the brush is a little bit tinier. So therefore I really like it. Um, I haven't used this brush in a while. But they sent me a new one and I think you guys are gonna see me using it more often because I kind of forgot like how much I like this brush and I'm not sure if it's expensive but I will put the, the link to where you can get it in the description bar. So now for the next color I'm taking this one which is a little bit more neutral and slightly darker but it kind of looks almost the same like when it comes to darkness as the other shade but I wanted to create like a sort of ombre by creating different or by applying like different shades of brown on the eyelids and go more towards the outer V. So I started with that warm shade in the inner corner of the crease, then I'm taking this more neutral brown in the middle part of the eyelid and the middle part of the crease, and then at the outer V I'm going in with a darker shade and then an even darker shade. This way I create like a ombre from light to dark towards the outer V. Um, I've been doing this technique a few times. I also have a few videos on my channel which I will link down. I have a pink one and a really warm orangey brown one. It's not the same as this one, it's a lot more orangey which is one of my favorite looks I've ever filmed. But you guys really liked it so therefore I wanted to use the same trick and create like an ombre eye look. So now I'm taking this shade which is a little bit warmer and a little bit darker and doing the same thing, just pressing it on the eyelid and then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to blend it more towards the crease. And this is also the end of the eyelid, so I will also say like at the outer end of the crease, kind of blending it like in a round shape at the outer V area. And yeah, I think with an eye look like this, you really want to be focused on to make sure that the outer V looks well blended out. You can see me like making sort of circle motions all the time. This way you get like a really nice shape. Um, sometimes you see me in videos using like eyeshadow guards. You can also use it for this eye look um, or some sticky tape at the end of the eyelid. And this way you get more of a sharper edge at the outer end of the eyelid. But for today, I wanted to do more of a round shape. And for if you don't, or if you're not really good at doing this, like making a nice outer end, um, I'm gonna show a trick at the end because mine didn't look perfect today as well, but I have a really simple trick on how you can fix this. And I think I've been showing it a few times in my videos, but today I wanted to 
go a little bit more in depth on how I do this and why. Um, because it's just an easy trick and it's really nice for those who are starting with makeup because it's just like a trick that you can use which is gonna make it just easier, if that makes sense. <laughs> so now I took an even darker shade and applying that at the out of just because I felt like the shades that I used are all kind of in the same undertone, like there's not like a huge contrast in between like when it comes to the darkness of the shades that I use. So I felt like I needed at least one more shade to create a little bit more depth at the outer V. So that's why I used the darkest brown shade in the palette. Now I'm also creating more of a, not really a really sharp edge, but more like in a triangle, if that makes sense. It's not really round looking anymore. I don't know why I did this, but... Um, I think it looks better with my eyes. I have no idea what I'm saying, guys. At first I thought I was doing like a round shape. Um, I filmed this a few days ago, so I kind of forgot like what I was going for. <laughs> but now it's turning more into a triangle. And I just keep blending and blending. Um, I feel like with matte shades, it's really important to keep blending because um, you really want the shades to like really fade into each other really smoothly so therefore blending is really important so now i'm taking the tarte cosmetic shape tape concealer and i'm taking a sigma brush in the number e25 and i just apply a really tiny amount of concealer on it and i'm gonna blend along the edges this is the trick that i was talking about um, which is gonna make it look more smooth and therefore you don't have to be super precise with the blending if you're not really good at it. You can use, use a little bit of concealer and that will fix that. So now I take the lightest color and I'm going to apply a little bit of that underneath the brow bone. Uh, when I swatched all the shades on my arm, I kind of noticed that this is the only shade in this palette which is more to the cool side. I was kind of surprised that they didn't make this shade more like with a golden or golden champagne undertone because I feel like when you swatch it on your arm it feels like this shade doesn't really belong in this palette if that makes sense. So I wasn't sure if I would apply it underneath the brow if it would suit with this eye look but I actually think it looks really good so it doesn't even matter but that was like my first thought when I swatched it on my arm that I was like why is this so cool tone like in comparison with the other shades but sometimes that can look actually really pretty using like shades with different undertones it can give you like a really nice different kind of look so yeah i'm happy that it turned out good so in my wall line you saw me use the morphe fives pencil and now i'm taking this shade with a flat diviner brush and pressing this right underneath the lower lash line the shade is kind of the same color as the pencil that i used for in the wall line so i'm just pressing it like right underneath the lower lash line but also gently on top of the wad line so it kind of covers up the pencil in the wad line if you're wearing like contacts in your eyes you might want to be a little bit careful um, i've never worn like contacts i've tried but i'm just not good at it i don't know how to apply it i find it really hard i get like watery eyes um, but i know people most often like apply them before doing their makeup but for me personally that makes the thought about wearing contacts even more scary because what if there's like what if you're doing your eyeshadow and then there's like getting eyeshadow in your contacts then you have to pull up your contacts oh my god i know like people that wear it every day they're like it's not even that hard but i think for those who have never worn contacts it's just such a scary thought i don't know i just find it really scary <laughs> But now I use the same shade which I use for underneath the brow bone in the inner corner area just to make this shade, just to kind of make the shade come back somewhere else in the eye look so it kind of complements each other. Then I'm taking this eyeliner which is from Inglot. Um, this is their black gel eyeliner. And I'm gonna create a simple line above the lash line. You don't have to be precise with this because I'm gonna smudge it out at the end, but you just wanna be. A little bit precise you want it to be a line but you don't have to be really focused on that it has to look really neat because we're gonna smudge it out if you don't like smudged out wing liners or smudged out eyeliner or anything you can go for a wing liner or like what i'm doing right now a simple line above the lash line you do you don't have to follow each step that i'm doing if you see something you don't like you can totally give your own twist to it so now I take a tiny pencil brush with the darkest brown color and I'm gonna kind of press it on top of where I just applied the gel eyeliner. 
Now I switched to a tinier brush. This one is by Suifa. It's their tiniest pencil brush. And I, I really noticed that this brush doesn't give a lot of fallout. Some brushes, when you apply eyeshadow on it, the eyeshadow just falls off. But this brush kind of sucks up the eyeshadow and I feel like it works really well. I use this brush very often just because of that reason. So now I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I use my favorite mascara, which is the Roller Lash Mascara. I use it in almost every video. I just apply a tin coat on the upper lashes and then also on the bottom lashes. I really love how long it makes my lashes. And then now I apply my fake lashes. I use my own lashes in the style Betty from my brand Anytude. I will make sure to link it down in the description bar. These are my current go-to lashes. I just feel like they just really suit my eye shape. I don't know what it is, but I just really like to use them. And yeah, that was that. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another look using this palette. Maybe play with the golden shimmery shades. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.